remind me, take it easy. If I tie my shoes, I might actually show you guys too many things too fast. Okay? Oh, sweet. You guys all need to tie your shoes. No, I I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wrestling, I'm just teaching. My shoes are tied. Well, they should be. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about last, last summer. Um, not a long story. But uh, I was wrestling um, this guy, his last name is Gizumov. Kato Gizumov is his last name. He's from Azerbaijan. Okay? That's a real country. Alright? Um, by the Caspian Sea. Okay? Um, if you guys look on it, the map of the world actually slammed in the Caspian Sea. It's not very clean. A lot of oil um, and pollution there. but. Anyways, we were there training for about 10 days or so. We got to work out with Ivory John's national team. And um, in practice, I wrestled Gazumov, who uh, I knew he was second in the world in 2009. Okay? Last year, um, a few months later, after I wrestled him in July, a few months later at the World Championships in September in Moscow at the, world, at the Worlds, he won. He got first in the world. He's the number one ranked guy in the whole world at my weight. He's a world champ. Okay? Now to, to back backtrack two months. I was wrestling, I was wrestling in practice um, in his room, overnight Rajan. Um, and I lost. I mean he took me down a few times and I lost and I'm pretty sure, I mean I, I knew and he knew that we had a dual meet coming up. We had a dual meet, USA versus Azerbaijan in a duel, okay? And uh, he knew he had to wrestle me, and I'm pretty sure because he beat me pretty bad in practice, I don't think he thought that it was gonna be that tough of a match. But I knew that I could wrestle him a little tougher, so I went out there and I wrestled, and I knew he tied, he tied really hard, really hard tied. What he always does, he ties really hard, with the, with the right hand tie, and then he, he waits for the other guy to tie up, and then he bumps the elbow and shoots a strong head inside shot. Okay, I knew he did that, so I didn't want to I didn't want to tie up with them, but the way the way that he always tries to set up the way guys usually tie up with them. So every time he tied my head, I would two on one him. Every single time, I just kept doing it. I wasn't even trying to score. He just tied my head, I two on one him, he tried stuff, and I was in good, a good stance. He was getting so frustrated, he started breathing really hard. And this guy, this guy looks like he takes steroids. And that's because he does take steroids, <laughs> okay? And he's jacked, he's real jacked up. And uh, he's getting tired and, he's, and I'm frustrating him. He ends up uh, hitting this nice shot, I tried to defend him, hipping in, and he ends up reshooting and he scores one point. So he wins one nothing. And take down a freestyle is one point, so you guys know. Uh, turning a guy, exposing his back is two points. Okay? If you if you roll him through or something. Uh, so I lose the first period one to zero. Second period, second period, same thing. He goes to tie me up. I two on one him. Okay? The next thing, next thing I, I can tell he's breathing hard. I snap his head, underhook. As soon as I got the underhook, I threw him by. I threw him by real fast. He almost hit his, he almost hit his face. He hit his hands around the mat, and I got, I got to take that right away. Okay, so I was up one nothing. He's coming after me. Boom, boom. Hits one of his low singles. Hits a low single leg. I, I crotch lift him. I crotch lift him through for two points. So I'm up, I'm up three, three to zero. Okay, and he's getting tired, and now he knows, he knows where his energy level's at. He knows he's real tired, so he doesn't even try to win that period. He kind of just like, kind of ties up, and he's just like, I can tell he's not going that hard. He's trying to save his energies to win the third period. All right, so I won the second period three to nothing. Okay, against the eventual world champ. Third period, third period comes, wrestling, he try, keeps trying to tie a two on one, now he ties, ties the other side. I lose focus for a second, and, and, and I, since he switched sides, I tied up with him for a second instead of two on one, two on one in his other arm. And then he bumped, he bumped the other side. He like did a misdirection. He bumped, bumped, and went to a, um, went to a single on the other leg, and took me down. He was up one nothing. So the next thing I did, next scoring action, I hit his, I snapped his head. I hit his head. 
Pushed his head by and did that, did that run it head inside single, the one I showed you guys. I went boom, boom, head inside single. I got his ankle. Somehow he scrambled, got around, and he got my ankle for a stalemate. And I was still trying to score, but the referee, who was the, obviously they're the Azerbaijan referees, they, didn't, they don't really want the USA to win. So they called a stalemate in a freestyle match, which normally doesn't happen. But, so I had his ankle, and that was my opportunity to score. If I score, it would have been one to one, and since I would have scored last, I would have won. Okay, that's another rule of freestyle. If it's a tie score, and you, you're the person who scored last, you win. Okay, so it's still one to zero, like 30 seconds left. I keep trying to get after him. Here's a different thing he does. When he's tired, he shoots. Most guys don't do that. When he's tired, he shoots. He kept shooting, trying to get these single legs. And he's real strong, so he shoots and comes up to my waist. So I couldn't, you know, while I'm trying to spin around, I'm trying to, you know, arm, grab his armpit butt and try to get around. And try, I'm trying to get around, and he keeps putting his arm up and stopping me. Either side I'd go. He's real good um, off of his knees. So I almost spin around. I, I think I actually got his ankle one time, but he kept his arm in between me and him as I was turning around, or as I was trying to circle around. And the, the time ran out, I lost one to nothing. But he literally couldn't even breathe, like after the match. He like, he like, basically had like go sit down. Like he barely made it off the mat. So my goal, you know, going in the world championships was, you know, I knew that I, I knew that guy was one of the best guys in the world. He ended up be, beating the Russian in the finals. Uh, was was world champ last year. Um, but the point of me telling you this stuff is, is that the stuff I'm showing you guys is two on one on room stuff can work against the best guys you guys wrestle. And has anybody in here wrestled a world champ before? Have you guys actually wrestled world champs? State champs. It's a little different, but yeah. So, so, so yeah. So here's the thing, guys. What I'm saying is, I wrestle one of the guy, the best guys in the world, and this stuff works. All right. So that's why you guys gotta keep drilling things and kind of really force yourself to keep getting better. Force yourself to keep getting better. Just don't, don't ever think, oh, oh, I got it. I don't need to work on this. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm good enough. I don't need to keep working on this. You guys gotta keep working on stance. Even, even, even my age, I'm still working on my stance every day. All right, and that's because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep trying to keep my elbows in, keep, keep my head up. Um, so let's refocus here. We have 40 minutes left. I want to see two on one, two on one to change level, circle step, snatch single. So back up around this circle. I can't. Let's do it after. Let's do it after though. I'll do. I'll do a, a bunch of impressions for you guys after this. Back up around the circle. I gave you a little break. That should rejuvenate you. Just to focus now. <laughs> So, this thing about it, I'm just going to get the leg. I'm just taking a tool one and I'm getting a single leg as fast as I can. You guys, again, in a match you do as fast as you can right now, you can work on it slow. But, we're, we're out front, 50 50. I shrug, two on one, circle.